Excellency, Mr. Yanyanovsky, Chair of the Affairs and Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany in Bangladesh, members of Bangladesh German Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, executive board members, guests, diplomats, ladies and gentlemen. I, as President of the Chamber, would like to thank you for joining us at today's maiden business network of my presidency. I am delighted for the opportunity to welcome our valuable members, business leaders, and many representatives from the diplomatic missions this evening. This evening is about assisting you to grow your business, to find new opportunities, and to learn more about the culture and the practices of the countries that you are targeting. It is also about facilitating connections and building partnership. From the day one of my presidency, I have been thinking about and working our strategies, actions, ways for revitalizing of the BCCI as one of the most relevant, prestigious and vibrant bilateral chambers in Bangladesh by serving our valuable members, partners, stakeholders, and well-wishers in most transparent, efficient, and effective way in order to strengthen business and investment cooperation between Bangladesh and Germany. This business networking event is just the beginning of a new journey for the BCCI to deepen the Bangladesh-German business relation. I would like to assure you that the remaining six months of the calendar year of 2023 shall be exciting events and activities like networking, meetings, seminars, business meetings, trade fairs, engagement, and more. These activities are expected to be mainly focused on important topics such as sustainability, digitalization, automation, and security technologies. As we continue with more conversation, collaboration, and resilience, the BCCI is working along the theme for 2023, forging ties for a resilient future. We hope this will inspire you to engage with BCCI and our members. I am delighted to be amongst the industry leaders and the high-ranking executives representing not only some of the big businesses of Bangladesh and Germany, but also associations whose members include small and medium enterprises, management, importers, exporters, and traders. Many of you already aware that the BCCI has been working hard over the past years and been able to live up to the expectation where we are today and be ready to move forward to enhance our more bilateral trade, investments, and development cooperation between Bangladesh and Germany. Cooperation between Germany and Bangladesh is at an all-time high as bilateral relations continue to extend them. The Bangladesh German Chamber of Commerce and Industry is organizing this evening business networking event in order to exchange ideas between businesses, communities of Germany and Bangladesh as well as exchange ideas with Bangladesh government departments and Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany and its economic services as to how we can grow more bilateral trade and investment between Germany and Bangladesh. The balance of trade currently in favor of Bangladesh, which is approximately 11 billion euros, as such, the Bangladesh government can consider to get German technologies and services in the field of electricity generation, transmission, distribution, renewable energies, chemicals, electromedical equipments, automobiles, as well as engineering services from German companies. Bangladesh government can also consider to buy high-tech critical infrastructure equipment from Germany, which can reduce uh, trade deficit between these two countries. German equipment and technology is the world best, all of you already know, so let's try to promote it in Bangladesh further. Over the past few years, Bangladesh has progressed a lot in terms of economic and social development. However, gradually 
contribution from the LDC group will be the most important milestone that Bangladesh could achieve in the coming years. But the question remains, is Bangladesh's trade sector ready to face the challenges after the country graduates from the LDC status? Losing preferential market access in many export destinations, most notably to the European Union, seems to be most challenging aspect of the path after graduation. The European Union has been the biggest importer of Bangladesh, accounting for 58% of the country's total export and 64% of the total apparel export. Bangladesh as the least development country has been enjoying zero tariff benefits from the best possible schemes available under the GSP of the European Union. Bangladesh has been one of the countries that have utilized European Union preferential market access. So the continuation of tariff preference after LDC graduation is important for Bangladesh in all major markets, particularly in the European Union market. Maintaining export competitiveness through preferential trade would increase the country's export. This could contribute to higher manufacturing, higher export earnings, higher employment, women empowerment, and ultimately reduction of poverty. Bangladesh export could face average, average duties of 8.7% as a result of GSP laws. The zero duty access to the European Union is expected to continue for three years after the official announcement of developing country. If the preference under EVA everything but arms are not available after that, the export of Bangladesh would face 8.7% duty on average. And it is estimated that shipment would drop at the rate of 5.7% per year. To mitigate this effect, Bangladesh needs to qualify for the GSP plus schemes in order to preserve its competitiveness in the export market. GSP plus scheme is the special incentive arrangement for sustainable development and good governance for vulnerable developing countries. This system grants full removal of tariffs on over 66% of EU tariff lines. To qualify for this scheme, Bangladesh has to ratify 27 international conventions and has to fulfill the vulnerability <coughs> criteria as set by the European Union. In order to address these concerns, amendments to the existing level laws Elimination of child labor, registration of trade unions, elimination of backlog in cases of labor laws, etc., have been given the most emphasis. Along the same line of Bangladesh's competence and competitiveness in Germany and the European market will very much depend on adaptation, implementation, and compliance of the German and European Supply Chain Due Diligence Act. Which the BCCI is keen to learn more about over the course of time and provide appropriate support and services to its members and the exporters of Bangladesh in general so that they can continue to remain reliable, competent and competitive partners for the German and European companies in the future. Last but not least, ease of doing business in Bangladesh for German companies German and European companies remains an area of special interest focusing on reduction of regulatory and policy hurdles for German companies in Bangladesh. In this regard, we the BCCI shall closely work with the government of Bangladesh and its relevant authorities. I welcome our members, most notably those of German origin, to contact us with their critic, concerns, suggestions and advice at any time so that those could be communicated, discussed towards workable short-term and long-term solution to the specific issues. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank valuable sponsor of this evening by reading out their name. We have a title sponsor which is Incepta Pharmaceuticals Limited. Then we Thank you. Then we got uh, sponsors, uh, platinum sponsors, which is Western Laboratories Bangladesh Limited. Thank you. We have gold sponsor, which is Lost Technologies Limited. We have several silver sponsors.
sponsor. So until I announce the name, please hold the applause because uh, it's a silver, you know. So thank you. Uh, so we got uh, silver sponsors: Reliance Insurance Company Limited, Aeroship Bangladesh, Classic Freight Limited, Shara International, Heidelberg Cement Bangladesh Limited, Khan and Din, Royal Shipping Lines, SAS Industrial, uh, TUB Rhineland. Now let's give them a big applause. And then we have support sponsors. They are Corona International, Dawn Group of Companies, Globe Freight Limited, Weber Power Solution, GSK International, and DSM Commodities Limited. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. In conclusion, I would like to restate my thanks to uh, Mr. Janowski, Charles Letters, Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany in Bangladesh, uh, uh, and members of German Chamber of Commerce and Industry and guests. Our special thanks to print and electronics media to cover this event, and of course, the Western DACA management for their excellent support and cooperation to hold this uh, event at this venue. I wish you all an enjoyable and productive evening which I hope will lead to new connection and new partnership. Thank you all.